What is up YouTube, it's YOLO, and I am back with another video. Anyways, you can probably tell by today's title, I will be reviewing this wig from Uni's Hair. So child, you know, you need to be all over YouTube, people be reviewing everything, but most of that stuff is sponsored. So I'm coming to y'all live with a non-sponsored review of this popular wig that has been all over my social media. So it is a 5x5 lace closure wig from Eunice, like I said before. This is my third install on this hair, so I am pretty familiar with it at this point. I have watched it twice. Yes, twice. And I have installed it three times. So let's get into it. So first, the first thing I would say about this hair and this company from what I know is basically that the quality of the hair usually with Eunice, um, I've seen that customers have found the quality of the hair to be different um, online versus what they get in person. I have not had that experience with this wig in particular. I have had some hair from Eunice before that was colored um, and it wasn't the best quality of hair, it didn't seem like, but it wasn't awful, it, it was bundles. This hair itself, the 5x5 HD lace closure wig, that's what it is, um, has been great for me. So it is 200% density. Um, it definitely feels like 200% density when you get it. Um, <laughs> having the hair in a body wave texture, in my opinion, um, automatically makes the hair feel a little fuller. So having the hair in a body wave texture, in my opinion, automatically makes the hair fuller. Um, it makes it feel more full. Um, I know some people when they have straight, like if they have hair that they want to straighten, they don't want it to be too full. Um, but for me, that wasn't the case. I knew I was going to want to curl this hair and do a lot with it. So I wanted the density to be pretty thick. So that is the first thing. It does come in only 200% density, I believe, um, when I bought it. So keep that in mind. I have straightened this hair, curled it, and worn it natural body wave. I will insert pictures somewhere in here. So the first install, um, the cap is a pretty good size. I have a pretty big head, not gonna lie. Um, but the cap fit me very securely, like almost as if I didn't, even if I didn't get it installed or glued, it would be fine. So the hair on the first install, of course, it was very soft, um, silky, full, thick, I'll insert pictures. Um, and then I washed it for the second install and after washing it, I didn't wash the conditioner out well enough the second time. So I know that it wasn't as flowy as it could have been. You know, it was a little stiff, but you couldn't really tell because I had curled it and done some other styles with it. Um, the hair was very manageable to style, um, very easy to wash. Um, wash it as you do any other wig. If you want a tutorial for that, I can do that as well. So I got this third install about a week ago and it has been pretty good so far. I washed it again before this install and you can definitely tell that it's starting to get a little worn, like not like the quality of the hair. It just seems like a little frizzier because I've washed it a couple times and that could be the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using as well. But as far as I know, it has been, it's been pretty great. So the HD lace itself is pretty transparent. Um, I would say I am dark skin as you can tell and it, it isn't like, you can see it now because you know, I've had this in for like a little over a week, but the lace itself is not bad in my opinion. Um, I do lay my edges. I wouldn't recommend the HD lace for you if you're a person who doesn't like to lay your edges because it can. Mm, I feel like it would show a little more if you didn't have the edges laid, you know what I mean? As you can see, the hair, you can see where the cutoff is from the lace to just the wig, and you want to keep that covered. Mm -hmm. You don't want to show it. So it's not a wig you can put up in a ponytail and all that. It's not one of those. So I'm just be honest with y'all. But I have, like, I am an athlete, so I do have to put it back from time to time in a ponytail, you just cover the hair and it'll be perfect. It's not gonna move. Um, I have sweat in it and it hasn't moved. It could be the quality of the install as well, but the lace seems to be sticking 
after its third wash. So that is a pretty good sign. So I got this hair in the length 20 inches. Yeah, 20 inch length. Um, I am fairly short, so it is long on me. But um, y'all like my rope? It's me. But anyway, so it's fairly long on me. Um, you can see down the back. But um, yeah, I feel like it would be easy to manage even if it was longer. Um, the density is pretty full, like I said before. So if you are a person that doesn't like to spend a lot of time washing hair or um, have the patience to rinse out conditioner because I'm finding out slowly that I'm one of those people. I do not like to sit there and wait for all the conditioner to be rinsed out. I would recommend that you get a wig with a <clears throat> with a smaller percentage in density um, because just because this hair is so thick and so full, it takes a little longer to get the conditioner out. But on a scale of one to 10, I would definitely rate this wig about a nine. Um, I feel like it's a very casual everyday wig and also a good going out wig. Like you're not doing too much if you're a person that is not really into color. I feel like this would be perfect for you, so. Um, so the costs and stuff, I will link everything down below. So yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down below if you have any questions um, or if you want me to do any tutorials on this wig, installs, anything like that. Thank you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.